Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out the April non-security bug fix update for Windows 10. And the optional updates that roll out now in the fourth week of every month will appear on your Windows update page. And um, the updates that roll out near the end of every month are optional bug fix updates. So you don't have to install the update uh, if it's not necessary. And I always suggest um, only install the optional updates um, if you are experiencing any, any issues with the operating system. Because if you don't install the update now, most of the improvements and fixes will be carried over and will be installed with the cumulative patch Tuesday update rolling out uh, in May next month. And that will be on the second Tuesday of next month which will be a compulsory automatic mandatory update. Now, this latest update, which was made available on the 25th of April, which was once again late yesterday in my region, is KB5025297. And uh, the update actually includes two new features for Windows 10. And um, when I did post on the same update a week or so ago when it was still in preview, um, there were three new features made available but Microsoft has decided to only, re only release two of the new features to the stable channel at this stage. Now, um, the first uh, new feature, um, if we just head back to our settings, time and language, um, the update adds the ability to sync language and your region settings. Now, when you change your Microsoft account display language or regional format. Now, how this will all happen is if we head to our accounts page, and we head to the sync your settings and if you have your sync settings turned on um, Windows will now save um, those settings to your account if you have turned on language preferences um, sync in your Windows backup settings so if you've turned on that um, you now will sync your language and region settings when you change your Microsoft account display language or regional format and then um, just to mention the next uh, new feature um, the update changes firewall settings. You can now configure application group rules according to Microsoft. Now, those are the two new features. And um, there are a couple of so-called highlights that do um, address uh, important issues in the Windows 10 operating system. And um, the first of these two fixes has rolled out for Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode. Now, the first addresses an issue um, where the pop-up windows um, open in the background instead of in the foreground and the second edge internet explorer mode fix addresses an issue where the tab window manager stopped responding so those are two edge internet explorer mode fixes and the update also changes the app icons for certain mobile providers and also addresses an issue that affects the chinese input method apparently you couldn't see all of the first suggested items and um, if you're on xbox Xbox Elite user with an Xbox adaptive controller. The update applies your controller remapping preferences on the desktop. So and um, that's basically an improvement for Xbox Elite users with Xbox adaptive controllers. And uh, then the last uh, so-called key highlight when it comes to bug fixes is the update addresses an issue that might affect news and interests. Uh, the news and interests feed on your taskbar. Apparently um, it might flicker on the taskbar and file explorer might stop responding so that's basically a important bug fix that has rolled out now as mentioned this is a non-security bug fix update and just to mention one other um, update that i feel is important that um, has been addressed when it comes to a bug fix the update addresses an issue that affects the resilient file system refs for short apparently a stop error prevented the os from starting up correctly and a stop error in case you're unaware is a blue screen of death so that's a crash fix that has been addressed which i would consider to also be a an important fix and over and above that there are numerous other fixes that have rolled out to address issues under the hood so to speak and then the servicing stack has also been updated which is the component that installs windows updates and if you have decided to install kb5025297 if we head over to uh, winver uh, which is about windows as many of you may know um, for windows 10 version 22h2 which by the way is the only windows 10 version now getting optional bug fix updates that roll out near the end of every month uh, the os build will now be bumped up to 19045.2913 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one